What's good everybody? I'm Professor Kells and I finally did it. I've started my own YouTube channel that caters to individuals who need to make quick, easy, vegan, alkaline based meals on the go. And the reason why I really did it was because recently people have been saying, oh my gosh, you're so skinny. And I didn't necessarily want to get skinny, but I wanted to get tall and I really wanted to lose a lot of this baby fat that I had after having children. So once I cut out dairy, meats, starches, and sugars, um, I pretty much started to lose it with, of course, exercising. So I started researching making meals and this is what I came up with and I love it. So today we're gonna make nori wraps using like a walnut meat and we're gonna make a mango salad, okay? So these are my ingredients. I have my onions, you can use any onion, I love red onion, red bell peppers, Roma tomatoes, I have my parsley, I have my uh, dandelion greens, I have my uh, lettuce here, I don't use um, iceberg, this is romaine, and then I have my basic seasonings, my sea salt, my onion powder, grapeseed oil, key limes, and I love these seaweed wraps. They're so much easier. Not the real crunchy kind. These are the kinds that you guys are able to use when you want to make like an actual seaweed or a sushi roll. All right. So we're going to get started with my walnuts. I make my meat with the walnuts. I soak these overnight and um, soak them in some purify, uh, some water, some spring water. And I'm going to blend them with a little bit of grapeseed oil and a little bit of sea salt and that's going to give me the consistency that I'm going to need, okay? And then I'm going to take two key limes and I'm going to go ahead and juice them and put them in here. Let me grab it. Here we go. One. And the citrus gives it a really tangy twist. It's really good. We're gonna add a little bit of the sea salt. Blend it up, your consistency should look like this, kind of like a pate, like if you're making like tuna, that's kind of the concept. So I've made enough that'll last me and my husband to eat a few days. And so then I'm gonna take some parsley, cut it up, take a bell, red bell pepper, cut it up, and take some of this onion and cut it up and put it inside. So here we go. All right, so for the base of my salad, I'm gonna use a mixture of greens. I have romaine lettuce, I have kale, and then I have dandelion greens. All excellent, so that's gonna be the base of the salad. All right, so our salad is done, and you know what? It's just really interesting when you think about it because transitioning over to vegan and leaving behind the foods that you love so much is really, really hard, especially me. I went to college at Clark Atlanta University, and I love lemon pepper wings. So I need foods that's gonna give me seasoning, that's gonna give me taste, that's not gonna taste bland. So I make sure that all my food has a little bit of soul and tastes really, really good. So now let's move on to this mango sauce that I'm gonna make. Mango here, onions, uh, key limes, and I have a habanero pepper that I'm gonna put all together um, along with some sea salt. So I'm gonna cut this up. First off, let me show you how I do this real quick. Look at this, y'all. So I'm slicing my mango. Let me take this little piece off real quick. So I learned how to do this. My kids love when I do the mangoes like this, and then they just eat them like this. And then I pop it, and bam, it's a little mango flower. Right? Juicy. Let me tell you, mangoes is so good, and they're so juicy. See this juice dripping down my hand? Sop it up real quick. My man loves when I eat mangoes. 
okay? Enough of that, but let me get this in real quick. I'm gonna use this other side. Okay, so, for real, it's so good. So, I buy my mangoes from the Latino stores because their fruit is the best right now. Because I'm from Compton. And when I go to the Latino stores, I get all the fruits and vegetables that I need. I get all my fruits and vegetables from the Caribbeans, from South America. Makes it so good, okay? So let's get back to this mango, all right? So I'm going to slice this up. I'm going to cube it, which is what I was doing earlier. Uh, here we go. Boom. Bam. 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 So I cut up my onions and my mango. As you can see here, a little bit of sea salt is in here. I even cut up my habanero pepper because I really like my stuff kind of spicy. And I love hot, hot sauce, Red Rooster, Louisiana, all of that. So I want to give myself some kick. And so this is that. And then I'm going to add some key limes in here. I have about four key limes that I cut up. And then I just use my little key lime juicer. And then this is going to be the juice. I want to put all of this in there once it's done. And that's my dressing. Really raw food, making your food vegan, it takes a lot of time. It's not so easy. I used to think that it was just going to take me a quick amount of time to make it. And it's not. It's not easy. So meal prepping is essential because you want to get it done. Because if you're like me, you always have something to do. There's always some kids that need to be taken care of or stuff around the house that you got to do. So it makes it so much easier if you can get stuff done. So I'm going to taste it and see how I like it now. I could literally eat this by itself. That's how good it is. I'm not going to double dip because I don't want y'all to see me double dipping. Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's about done. I always add this in my live salads because it gives it a little kick. This is kelp, which is good, and iodine is a sea vegetable. It's also Dr. CV approved. It's an alkaline vegetable. So I use this, put it in my salads, boom, just real quick. So I have cut up the kelp. I put a bit, about two large pieces of kelp cut up in here. This is what the salad looks like before. I'm going to go ahead and add my mango salsa mix that I made. Use So the last thing that I'm going to add is going to be some Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes. And you should feel comfortable not getting your, uh, getting your hands a little bit wet. Okay? Mix it all up. Let it set for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and make our nori wraps. And we're good to go. Watch how we put this all together. Are you ready? Let's do it. It ain't nothing if you ain't got a good music plan. Hey. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the nori meat that I made. Here I go. Put it right here. No, let me get back to her. Alright, now it's time to roll it up. <laughs> roll it up. 
Enjoy nori wraps with a mango salsa salad that we made really good just to recap this is really really healthy and nutritious for your body eat it up follow me professor kills holla it's time to eat now to prove to you that it's good I'm actually gonna eat it so here we go I'm telling you It's delicious. Holla. 